In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make an Arduino or NodeMCU based weather station using DHT11 or DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor and display it using an OLED display. This is how an OLED display is connected to either Arduino or NodeMCU. The setup using Arduino or NodeMCU is very simple. We just need to connect the OLED to the I2C pins and the temperature and humidity sensor to any one of the digital pins. In this setup, I have connected the OLED to A5 and A4 and the sensor to D8. Here is a quick demo using Arduino. So this is how my board looks like in 2D and 3D. There are three breakout boards in this 100cm by 100cm assembly. Each board can be used with either Arduino or NodeMCU and DHT11 or DHT22 sensor or sensor module. Hello, Dan Edelkowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this video, I will show you how you can make this cool looking radar using the Arduino board and the processing development environment. All you need for this project is an ultrasonic sensor for detecting the objects, a small hobbyist servo motor for rotating the sensor and an Arduino board for controlling them. The main draw function which repeats all the time and draws the screen. Also here I am using the fill function with two parameters for simulating motion blur and slow fade of the moving line. You can find this source code on my website with a description of each line of the code. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. When life gives you bananas, just eat them. Necessity is the mother of inventions, and I don't deny that fact. Frankly speaking, this is the second time I bumped into our garage wall since we moved into this new house. That's it, there would be no third time. The trick pin of the ultrasonic sensor connects to D2 and the echo pin connects to D3 of the Arduino. Finally, connect the VCC pin of the ultrasonic sensor to 5 volt output of the Arduino. And to finish the circuit, connect all the negative pins to the ground pin of the Arduino. Alright, so this is how it looks like. Using my Land Rover R1 V1, I'm going to demonstrate the project to you guys. As you can see, the LED indicators go from green to red as the rover approaches the ultrasonic sensor. Yes, mission accomplished. This circuit diagram is for the pendulum only. The code is very simple. Start by including the servo.h library, then declare the servo pin, and then create an object of the servo class. In the setup section, attach the servo to the Arduino's pin. And finally, in the loop section, we just need to move the servo left and right. Almost done. To conclude the tutorial, I'm hot gluing the pendulum to the servo motor and then sliding the clock face to hide the circuitry behind it. That's it. All done. This project is an attempt to make a simple, touchless, cordless bell without spending a lot from your pocket. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use an LED. Now let's assemble all the parts as per the schematic. I really like the way I can just plug and play everything using this kit without worrying about soldering. Now if you replace the LED with a relay module, you can turn your wired doorbell to a wireless touchless doorbell and make your neighbors jealous for not having one. 
In the final version, my plan is to add a solar charging panel to charge a 18650 battery for the transmitter circuit. I created this small Christmas village for my little monster. So this is how the final setup looks like. I added some hills at the back for the rising and setting of the sun and the moon. The logic is very simple. The DC motor or the stepper motor rotates the half sun and half moon. A LDR is placed in a way that the sun rays can cover it up. When the moon side is up, the sun rays cover the LDR and vice versa. The LDR acts as a switch and turns on and off the blue and white flashing LEDs. With the same logic, you can go even more creative than what I did. The DC motor runs on the 5V pin of the Arduino, so we don't need to code anything for that. For the rest of the code, I'm looping through and flashing the RGB LED, followed by checking if the LDR has detected any light, and then waiting for 200 milliseconds before repeating the process again. The plan is to shower love upon my partner with rose petals as soon as she walks out of the bedroom. Using a 3D model, I'm going to show you guys the design and working of the flower dispenser. Alright, so this is the whole setup. The back bit sticks to the wall and using these two holders, it holds a lightweight stick which in turn holds the front bit or the dispenser. I'm going to put all the rose petals in here. When the ultrasonic sensor detects an object in its way, it will send a signal to the Arduino, which will then rotate the servo, causing the dispenser flap to open. When the flap opens, all the rose petals will fall on my partner. The whole setup is made using a cardboard box making it lightweight and easy to stick to the wall. So this is how it looks like. Once we power the kit, the ultrasonic sensor starts waiting for a moving object. As soon as an object is detected, the flap opens up to dispense the flowers. Now the interesting bit. So let's go ahead and set everything up. The petals dispenser stays on the top of the door and the ultrasonic sensor at her waist level. Finally, I just need to connect all the sensors to the EVI box. After that, it's just a matter of waiting for her to come out and activate the sensor. If everything goes as per plan, I would be able to give her a nice surprise. Boo! Yeah! Created a touchless COVID-free electronic dice using Arduino to play some board games with my son. My new project is an amazing way of giving our younger generation the taste of board games while staying COVID-free. Using a step-up power module connected to two AA batteries, I'm powering up the Arduino Nano. In my logic, I'm using a IR module to send interrupts which changes the face of the dice which is then displayed using the 8x8 LED matrix. If you want to change the face of the dice by shaking it, you can use a tilt sensor to generate the interrupts. 
If you want to store the result in a database, you can use a ESP8266 board and send the result over Wi-Fi and store it in a database. The possibilities are endless. However, I just wanted to keep my circuit simple. Cool. So this is how my final setup looks like. I covered the LED matrix with a translucent black sheet. Let me know what you guys think of this project. If you have any suggestions or advice, please feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.